heading up north to fish with my buddy Tanner and you have to stop in at Maury's. They have an awesome selection of different meats, lots of fish, things that you're not gonna find anywhere else. There's a lot of stuff from the ocean that they got in there. They've got, uh, well, I ended up stopping in and getting cheese curds and, uh, and beef sticks, but that's just because I don't have a way to uh, keep the fish good. <laughs> I guess I could have gotten some smoked some smoked fish, but there was a lot of people in there. There was like 20 people and I'm not used to there being that many in there. And I'm kind of in a hurry to get to fishing. So figured I'd just grab what I could. I'll be stopping back on the way back home. So if you've never been there, I suggest you hit it. It's in Motley and it's fantastic. Now it's time to go meet up with my buddy and uh, get on some big crappies. That's the plan. If my truck will uh, turn on here. Come on, wake up. There we go. She's alive. <laughs> Sweet. Tanner's racking them up. Look what he's doing. I just get to hold him. I drove all the way up here to help him hold the fish. <laughs> he he does the catching. I am a live well boy. That's my job. I, I measure them and put them in for us to eat. And you know what? I'm fine with that. We're catching fish. Happy guy. I'm a happy guy in the boat. So, I'm going to keep trying to... Uh, adjust my technique here because <laughs> I'm not in my element. This is not how I crappie fish where I live. They're, these are far different. These are far pickier crappies. This is a different it's a different animal. beast up here. <clears throat> and that's okay. It's good for me to get out and um, do new stuff. Hey, what you got now? That's a nice one. Eater. Another eater. Pretty color. Apparently I need white and red. <laughs> could be could be the thing. You wanna just yeah. I don't know. Oh look at his back. Somebody took oh. a chomp on him yeah. at some point. <laughs> look what Tanner just got. Look. Look at that guy. He's got a big notch taken out of the back. His back yeah, dorsal. Boy. Wow. That's I don't know if I've ever seen one like that. Usually those are on the bottom, like a turtle comes up and bites them on the bottom, but that's that's a pretty significant chunk. Look yeah, at that. that. My finger fits in it. Look <laughs> at that. Oh. He's, a, he's a tough one. Another one, huh? Yeah, boy. Professional. Professional. We got a professional in the boat. Here, we're eating. He wasn't getting off. All right. I think I'm going to do two like that. And, well, I know I've got some at home, but I don't know if I brought them with. Well, I've got a whole baggie full. All right, I'm not taking credit for these. These are Tanner's. Tanner caught these, but. Look what we're doing. Northern Minnesota catching nice crappies. You got a bass over there? Yeah. <laughs> Did you think it was a crappie at I first? Did at first. <laughs> Storming in there. Try to we're going to try to make these bigger. These are eaters. We're going to try to get some that we can uh, put on the wall. All right. So now I got to find me a tube jig. So what Tanner has us doing here is we're using tube jigs. He's got a red one on with a white tail and I've got this red one with kind of a chartreuse gold. And uh, he's just having us cast out and let it glide down. We're not really reeling a whole lot. The crappies don't want to chase too much. They're kind of coming in easy and just gently feeding. But you got to fight through all the baby bluegills. That's a nice chill little lake. I like this. I like those little 
I like those little honey hole lakes where a lot of people don't go. It's the kind of stuff that I like fishing back home is the little bitty ones that nobody else touches. You find little hidden gems in them. Those ones that were over here earlier might have moved back in since we removed away from them. Oh, one hit me on the reel end, dang it. I was getting ready to pull up and cast a different spot and I got hit. <laughs> you know, I might have missed it because I bet you they're I bet you them stupid bluegills are hitting that bead. Hey, look at that. Look at that guy. He knows how to catch crappies. Black one up there. Yep. Oh, dude! Seven? I had him for a second. Oh. Darn it. I watched the line tighten up. It was sitting there slack, and then it started to tighten up on me. And is that dry again? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, not dry right there. <laughs> no, not in that spot. Yeah, he's swimming, swimming, swimming parallel to us right now. Oh, he's looking at mine. Oh, he went right to it. He didn't hit it, but he went to it. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, he didn't hit me. He's going for you. Lift it up a little bit. Oh, oh, he mouthed you, he mouthed you. Dude, that is a nice crappie. Come on. He's so far away? I think so. Hard to tell. Hard to see. Oh, what a tank. Keeps turning and looking at it. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a gill. A gill hit me. He took it away from the crappie. It's got eagles and loons and I'll take that. See, I like these crappies because they're they're thicker. They actually fill my hand. They're not like the crappies back home where like every once in a while you'll get one like this. There's a nice up north north woods crappie. Oh mama. Oh mama. We got an oh mama moment. What's happening, oh mama? <laughs> Get me all excited at the back. Oh, look at him. He's like, <laughs> like 15 inch bass. Go <laughs> so time, baby. Get a double and do a selfie. Thing. 
<laughs> I watched his mouth open on it. <laughs> right? That's about all you can see. Oh, man. Okay, here's a good one. Is there? Get him, get him. Watch how slick this works. He's got this plate up front here. When he drives the boat up, it locks it in for him. So if he's fishing by himself, it's super easy to get it on the trailer. It locks it in and then he can put the um, chain on it and then he's good. Watch, watch how slick this is. Right up there and drive it on. Ding, and it's latched. That's awesome. Definitely need to get that for our for our boat. What's that thing called, Tanner? A throttle latch. Ah. Yep, puts the strap on, puts the chain on, and he's good.